So I'm at Cobra headquarters in Toronto. I'm here with Andrew in the putter fitting studio. Yeah. The guys here have a really sweet setup. Quintic, which you guys will be familiar with. Um, extremely scientific, probably the most data you can get for putting. Yeah, as far as putters go, it's probably the best, you know, putter specific launch monitor. Yes. I think there's only like 10 of these in Canada, so it's pretty unique. And you guys have one of them, which is great. Yeah. So um, I've had my eye on a putter from Cobra probably since you guys came out with that prototype 3D printed one. Was that two that years ago? That was fall of 20. Okay, so it's been a little while. So I've had kind of my eye on the face technology I've always found really cool. And now you guys have a bunch of new head shapes. So I've kind of had my eye on a couple. So I wanted to come here and get a proper fitting done versus me just kind of picking one off the rack, which is easy to do. Um, I have been guilty of that before, but I figured why not come here and do it properly with you guys. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you mentioned you like the fang shape. So the yeah. Supernova uh, just came out. There's three hosels now. So we have the single bend hosel, the short slant uh, Supernova 30, and the flow neck Supernova 30. So basically that will depend on the amount of face balance. So I had said to you before, my current putter is sort of, this is too big of a blade, but it's a smaller blade than this. It's flow neck, right. has quite a bit of face balance. So it's good that you have the three miles. I'm not sure, I have putted with the Spider before. Okay. We'll see if the numbers match up. I'm more putted with the Spider because I like the ability to align it. I find that that putter is quite easy to align, which, why, which is part of why I picked it out. Yeah, the three lines. Yeah, as you said, let's baseline with, that's the face balance one there. Face balance, yeah. We'll get some numbers and we'll go from there. Okay, awesome. Cool. There we go. Yeah, a little high on launch, but uh, center strike, a little shut on the face. So basically, on average, three or four putts, the face is closed. A little bit shut. So now a face balance putter, face balance putter would be designed to help you do that. I would say right. starting more square is going to be easier to get that putter face shut. That makes sense. Versus a toe hang putter starting more open is going to resist the amount of rotation. So. so pretty easy as a baseline for me to eliminate this one because I already pull. Like right. I pull. Your miss is pull, a, is yeah. pull, and three or four putts here, you've shut the face a little bit. Gotcha. Uh, right? So gotcha. for a left-handed putter like yourself that tends to miss putts right, cool. more toe hang with a putter face starting more to the left is going to help you out. So I'm liking, the, I'm liking the alignment of it. So why don't we move on? You've got, what, two degrees of yeah, how much so face balance uh, there is? Yeah, so there's Supernova 30, which is 30 degrees of toe hang, yeah. small, small slant, and then there's a Supernova 20, a little bit different offset uh, flow neck. Okay. So we'll start with the 30, kind of the most extreme and the other way, and see, and then we'll move into the 20. Okay. There you go, that it's better putt there. Nice. Yeah, the face Much definitely better. didn't feel like it was closing over. Yeah, that one even, even snuck in the left side of the hole there, right? Gotcha. So, yeah, so face angle there, you were 0.5 open. So kind of golden rule of thumb for face angle. Within eight feet, you got to keep it within one degree open per closed. Right. Um, it's funny, one degree to the naked eye is not a whole lot. So that's why putter right. fitting is so, so important. Yeah, another really good one. So you know, two out of three so far with the super number 30, a little more toe hang. Being able to square up the face at impact. It's like... Yeah, so I'm, face I'm, angle there was really, really good. It like, was basically square. Yeah, really, really good. You're still going to obviously have times when you, you're... My natural tendency is still to pull. Right. But this is just going to help me limit that. It's not like I'm never going to pull a putt. Exactly. All right, so this was your second putt with the uh, Super North 30. So like, like we mentioned before, a little more toe hang now. So mm. down here, you know, Quintec. Quintec color codes everything. So green numbers are good. Red numbers are bad. So along the bottom here, that's all of our club data. So you can see face angle was... 0.5 degrees, so really, really good. With that face angle of half a degree shut, we were good up to about 17 feet. Oh, wow. Okay. So this putt being 11 feet, obviously we made it. So mm. putter fitting, basically what we're trying to do for, you know, toe hang versus face balance, we're trying to get the player to get that face angle under one degree open or close as consistently as possible. Gotcha. That's how you're going to make putts. So as we look at the average of those three or four putts that we hit, most of them were within that tolerance. So exactly. we could probably theorize that this is a decent fit. Versus the first one, the face balance putter, Three out, of all, three out of four, all of them were more than one degree shut. In On fact, shot one of them side. was two degrees shut. Right, right, which is way too extreme. Again, we look at your face angle here. So this middle chart here, it's showing your face angle three inches before impact, three inches after impact. Right. So you can see here basically from two inches before impact up to half an inch after, during that whole time frame, the putter face was square. Okay. So you could have hit the putt any, anywhere during that period and the face was square. So that's quite interesting. So if you, let's say, get a bit inconsistent with your ball position or maybe you're on a bit of a side slope and you don't quite place it in the same spot. Exactly. The putter face was actually in that tolerance for a longer period of time. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a few more putts with this one. Sure. One thing I noticed we haven't really talked about yet is, is ball data. So we'll see, again, face yeah, angle we'll is really important. Um, 
also how you launch and roll the ball. So gotcha. if we look up here top right, you know, this is all our ball data. Important ones for a putter are launch angle and the spin, and the spin. right? Gotcha. So launch angle there, you were 2.8 degrees. Not crazy high. Ideally, we're looking to be anywhere from one to two degrees, depending on the speed of greens you play on. You know, if gotcha. you're playing on you know, muni greens a little slower, it's okay to have that launch angle a little higher. Um, the big one here is, you know, the, the spin. So you had negative 14, 14 RPM there. Yeah, okay. So right so off the face at impact there, the ball was going backwards. We'll, uh, we'll replay this putt here. Gotcha. So is that a factor of the strike point or is that the type of stroke? Do I need to feel the putter rising a little bit more through impact to get that yeah, forward Yeah, so roll if we on? look at shaft angle, and your shaft angle, you were a little bit forward, which is pretty good. Is good. Attack angle was pretty neutral, around zero. Okay. Ideally, you know, similar to a driver. A driver, driver and putter, so the ones we want up. less spin on. Oh, okay. You want to be a little bit on the up. Gotcha. With the putter. So, so why don't we try that for the next couple? That. I'll try to and raise. And if it's still a little too high, we can always adjust the loft. Now, and this okay. putter is just on standard right now. So. so let's say we get the putter moving upwards better with the stroke. Yep. And, and still, we've got too much launch. Then, then we, we take, take a little bit of loft off. off. Yeah, okay. Exactly. I'm yeah, curious that a, how that one that felt. That was a really good better. roll. Yeah, really good roll. Better. Let's see if that's any better. That's something I got to work on in my stroke anyway. Yeah, so really good there. So we look at launch angle. Now we're back under that two degrees, 1.79. Okay. Really nice. Um, spin was a little better. It's more um, neutral still, now. Still around negative five. So again, that ball, you know, start of forward rotation, we're always looking for that to be zero inches. Instant. So as soon as you hit that ball, we want that ball rolling forward. So gotcha. let's do one more. Sure. And then I'll take a look at the loft. Maybe take a little loft off that putter. So if you have too much loft, can that produce a bit of backspin? Yeah, exactly. Same idea as, you know, a driver or an R wedge, you know, the right. more loft's on the club. So the easiest thing in fitting, very trying to increase or decrease spin is, yeah. is adjusting loft. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, another good one. So I think definitely, you know, face angle wise, yeah. you've made five out of six with this one. So it seems to be pairing up with your stroke nice. It really, yeah, it feels now like low figure effort. out, you know, Just the roll. The roll. Gotcha. Okay, so overall number wise, that's the best putt you've hit. Oh, cool. So, okay. But still, I can see what you mean. So the launching is a little bit high. A little bit high. And we're not actually really, f I mean, the starter for a rotation we're, technically is there. one RPM, but, but we, we want to be a little more than that. Cool. But so we look at gonna... face angle with square. It's a really good putt, Matt. Seemed like it really came good. off nice. Curious really good. how that looks. Yeah, nice. So, oh, that's really at, cool. Yeah, so really now you've brought so the launch low, angle. Lowest down. launch, 1.5. That's the first one we've seen a significant amount of, of forward spin. Yes. And start for forward rotation was zero inches. That felt good. All right. Yeah, so that last spot there, we're back to the Supernova 30, the one you liked the most the first time. Just kind yeah. of went back to just to make sure the numbers were still good. That was the best spot you hit. Mm -hmm. You know, we look at that screen, there's a lot of green numbers. We haven't talked about it yet either. Blue number, if you ever see a blue number on there, that's PGA Tour average. So obviously that's, that's what we're you know, looking for. Right. So we look at the bottom here, all the club data, face angle, 0 0.04. That's as close just to the gets, square. right? If you yeah, go yeah. back to that screen that shows us, you know, up to 20 feet and beyond on a straight putt, that ball is going in the hole. That's really so really, cool. really good. And we go back here, we look at your, your face angle. So again, here we look at this screen. So basically from an inch before impact to about an inch after, so two inch, that two inch period, the face was square. square. So you could face. hit the ball anywhere in there. Ball out of there, launch angle is in a good spot, 1.9, a little bit of top spin and start forward rotation was zero inches. And Very then cool. again, club twisting, Nothing. So putter's not twisting at all in impact. That's the one thing I, I think I've noticed the whole way. Like we've played with face angle. I've made some strokes that have been good, some that have been maybe needing work, but the club twist is something that just basically didn't happen the whole session. Yeah, which one of those really putts cool. you mentioned, you know, it felt a little bit toey. Yeah. There was no twisting. No That's twisting. where we went to, you know, a smaller, you know, less forgiving a blade putter. Yes. You know, it might suit your eye better. But, you know, when I go through a fitting with a player, you know, if they say, you know, I really like a blade, Andrew, if we see the club <coughs> twisting is is off, because you know, you could you could get that face angle back to squared impact. Mm. But if you tow it or heel it slightly, it can you know affect your face angle by half a degree or 0.75 and, and degrees. You'll miss the putt, won't and you? that gets you over that one degree and you're gonna miss the putt. Yeah, right? totally. All right, so um, I think pretty clear cut that this Supernova 30 was the right one for me. Um, we kind of chatted before the fitting and I had asked you guys, do you have that 30 in left hand? Because I kind of suspected that 
something that's sort of a unique design, which is a, a toe hang mallet, right. might be just perfect for me. And it turns out that that's exactly kind of what I needed. I think coming from a putter with toe hang, as a person who pulls it a lot of the time, I knew I couldn't go face balance, which right. we found out right away. Yeah, exactly. I was pulling that face balance putter like every yeah, single time. Yeah, Supernova, you know, this came out last year, you know, our 3D printed line, there was a Supernova, the Agera, and the Grand Sport. Right. Both the mouths, the Supernova and Agera, came in a single bend face balance option. Gotcha. The short slant toe hang was probably the most requested option, so that's okay. why we've added this this year. I can so see again, why. And you're a perfect fit for it, right? You know, you, you, yeah. you, you didn't mind the look of a mallet, but your, your stroke suited more of that toe hang. I've got to have the toe hang, for sure. And, and, and to see that many with a square or even slightly open face angle was good to see that I can confidently step up and know that I'm likely not going to pull nearly as many putts. Yeah, if your miss is right for lefty, yeah. it's better to air on that side if a little bit open than, than close. When we went to the Super number 20, a little bit less toe hang. First couple putts, right away, we, again, we saw your face angle moving more to the right towards your miss, so. Definitely. Really good fit for you. Really good. The only thing we had to change was take a little bit less loft off. Yeah, which was cool. So just with that stroke adjustment we talked about, I need to hit up a little bit more on it and maintain the shaft lean. Because the putter static loft, you know, it wasn't too high for some players, but for no. me, just a bit high. The one degree stronger took a bit of that back spin off. Exactly. Added forward spin, and so the ball rolled. Well, we know, about earlier, that's going to really help you just with speed control, especially nice. on those lag putts. And, yes. You know, three putt avoidance on the course. Mm. Got it. Okay, awesome. So guys, that will be my new putter for 2022. Um, I may make a grip change. Other than that though, you've bent it one degree strong. I'll be using it exactly as it is. Awesome. Guys, let me know if you have any questions. Obviously, Quintic is a really scientific, complicated program. Andrew did a great job though of breaking down the numbers, I think, in a very functional way, very practical way. But if you have questions, stuff you want me to clarify, I'm happy to uh, answer those for you. Throw them in the comments. Um, and then I will probably report back once I get this thing on the course and start hopefully making a few more putts. Thanks for watching. Thank you.